We're on to part two of the Ferncliff Natural Area. And it's compared to the other hike we did at Ohio Powell this weekend, the forest is pretty pretty open. It's not the uh, thorn pricker bushes and low saplings like the other hike. It's a lot of evergreen, mossy logs down. And here's a tree with a bunch of names etched in it with knife. You see all the names on there. Different couples or sweethearts. Coming through another rocky patch. And we're getting near the edge of the river again. And you can kind of look out and see the river off the edge of the, we're kind of running on a cliff now. See the river over the edge and a embankment covered in rhododendrons, mountain laurels. Again, you can hear the white water rushing. We're on the edge of a hillside leading down to the river. Lots of exposed roots on the trail. We're heading uphill slightly. Going up about a foot every four or five feet. Lots of rocks. Getting a little steeper now. Pretty steep little hill we're climbing now. And we've crested the top of the hill.
Got a lot of rain yesterday. We were expecting this trail to be a little bit more muddy. But it's not too bad. Still fairly open woods compared to the Kentuck Trail we did. Coming to a little root ball, overturned root ball here. A couple little saplings. And it's opening back up. Some moss covered logs. Weaving through some down logs. And it's uh, autumn, so the leaves are mostly down. We got a lot of shade on this trail because of all the evergreens. You see the trail markers anywhere? I lost them. We don't cut up that way, do we? Oh, I got one. It's getting a little thick through here and... I think we lost the trail for a few minutes. Yeah, we definitely did. It cut to the left, but we're back on our blazes again. Always stay on the trail, unless you lose your way. When the leaves get down, it's a little harder to see the trail. In the summer, it's a little easier to see the trail because the greenery isn't beaten down where the trail is. But in the autumn, you just have to go by the blazes. And you can see there's been foot traffic on the leaves. They're pretty padded down, but... Coming past a down log. And we're going to be wrapping up section two. Of the Ferncliff Natural Area here in a few seconds. <laughs> 